Hello Geminis, this is you versus them for the 5th through the 11th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe guys. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, we have two cards. Alright, so we have Judgment. And we have the Page of Wands. Some of you are currently in the process of making a decision on whether or not you want to go forward um, with something that I feel like you are interested in or bring back something, but you're really not sure if you are, if you really can do it, if you really even want to do it, is what I'm getting from this, okay? Scorpio energy there. Something that you're deciding on. Some of you are actually, you know, kind of um, reevaluating yourselves too to see if it's, it's something that you need to change about yourself, what you're doing even here. Um, let's see what was going on with, with the person you're thinking about before. Hmm. Trying to move away from um, anything that has hurt them. I feel and trying not to you know dwell on it emotionally just trying to you know think about things realistically here okay Aquarius <clears throat> energy there let's see what's keeping you guys from this person what's keeping you from them what's keeping you from them Knight of Swords mm. maybe you guys were waiting on this person to reveal some truth to you and um, they haven't come forward yet you haven't received any answers that you were seeking. Um, I think you are expecting them, but right now I almost feel like you guys have, have given up on this individual, that they're really not going to come clean, okay? That they're still going to be hiding things from you, telling you half truths even, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what's keeping them from you. What's keeping them from Gemini? What's keeping them from Gemini? They're working. I feel like this person has their nose deep in whatever they're doing to make their money, okay? Anything they can do to avoid you guys and thinking about this situation. Again, you know, they're trying to like, you know, not even think about what has hurt them. Not even, you know, allow their feelings into this situation. Trying to think very logically about it. Maybe being a little aloof even. Not speaking to you. Not talking about things. Um, spending all their time working is what I'm getting here, okay? <clears throat> Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. What's currently going on for Gemini? What's currently going on for Gemini? Four of Cups. Mm. I think you've just had it. <laughs> I think you've had it with, you know, extending yourself to other people. Um, really, right now, you're not you're not even concerning yourself with, um, you know, loving somebody, accepting love from somebody. Um, right now, you're trying to drink from your own cup. You know, forget that other shit. Is what I'm getting from you, you guys. Like, forget that shit. Okay. Let's see what's currently going on for them. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is trying to figure out um, what is the right thing to do. Okay. And so what I'm getting here is that while they are nose deep in work, you still, you know, you come in and out of their psyche. They still think about you and what has happened between the two of you. And they're in the they're in this um, this mode where they're trying to decide what to do with you guys. They're trying to decide what to do with you guys, how to make this right, if they can make this right, um, to wrap this up, basically. That's what they're doing here. You guys have judgment and they have justice here. So you're kind of like, you know, in the same mode really not involving yourself with anybody I feel and they're not either I don't get that okay let's see what's influencing you guys here king of cups yeah I think you're not trying to extend your energy to anyone I think this is more of you just trying to get stable you know emotionally stable within yourself okay so when it is time for you guys to get into a relationship, then, you know, you have all your faculties together. You're balanced here. And you can make a decision, um, you know, in a very balanced state is what I'm getting here, okay? 
Hang on, guys. My phone is ringing. Um, but you know, you just want you just want to be, you know, very emotionally stable with whatever it is that you decide to go forward with. Okay, turning your back on people that are secretive, aloof, not telling you the truth, you know, this, that, and the other. Okay, it's what I'm getting. Um, I feel like there may be somebody that has piqued your interest, maybe a Scorpio individual. Um, but still, in all, I don't think you guys are extending to anyone at this point, uh, especially not this person. It's like, you know, I, th I think you've had it um, with this individual for the time being because I like the cards down face up. We have the three of swords up under there. Um, there was a lot of disappointment and hurt um, involving this person. And I think you're just really just, um, you, you're just kind of over it, I feel, at this moment. Let's see what's influencing them. What's influencing them? Six of Wands. <laughs> they're all about just trying to get attention from any and everybody that you know to build them up to make them feel better is what I'm getting here um, I feel like their work is probably bringing them a lot of success as well a lot of recognition um, but I feel like this person is you know this is somebody that does not really like to be alone or does not like to be ignored feeling like you know people are not noticing them they like to be noticed this individual Okay, let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for Gemini? What's coming in for Gemini? Three of Pentacles. Hmm. This is something that I feel is going to be um, whatever whatever it is that you guys are doing, working with other people. Um, there's something that you're building for yourselves. I feel like that's going to be very lucrative. I'm sorry if you hear me scooting this chair up. But it's going to, to produce something that um, I feel is going to be long-lasting for you, okay? And I feel like this has everything to do with a job, not with a person, okay? I feel like that's where you're putting your emotions, and that's where you feel your happiest right now, okay? Because there's something that you've started um, where you're working with other people that I feel like you are enhancing... Um, you know their growth as well okay very very positive very positive let's see what's coming in for them what's coming in for them hmm three of swords disappointment heartache yeah because maybe they're not making the right decision maybe they're not making the right decision for them let me say that okay um, maybe in moving away from what hurts them uh, they're still turning right around and facing themselves here because I get the feeling that they are really the ones that have hurt themselves by you know not really growing and not really becoming aware of you know how they contributed to um, whatever happened between the two of you guys it's like they were in denial and I feel like once you guys move on because you guys may actually be moving on with someone else too somebody that you actually feel like you know is going to work with you that's not going to butt heads with you that's going to try to compromise on things that you need to compromise on and so you can work to build a foundation for a committed relationship here and so that may be where this heartache is coming from or either they've realized after the fact that you know they've lost the person that they feel like could have been you know their partner for life but there's definitely some heartache coming in for them. Maybe they feel like you guys had them in a three-party relationship. If it's not that, then it's somebody else they feel like is involved in your life that's giving you what they did not give you, okay? Let's see what's blocking you guys. What's blocking Gemini from this person? What's blocking Gemini from this person? You guys are healing. You're following your path. You're doing what's best for you. And in doing what's best for you is leaving them behind, I feel, okay? Um, I feel like you are very like emotionally healthy right now and I don't get that this person is I don't see any cups here at all um, I think they're really like aloof and um, everything is kind of superficial with this person is what I'm getting okay <clears throat> let's see what's blocking them from you what's blocking them from Gemini 
high priestess. Hmm. I feel like this is not, it, this is them not, um, for one thing, you guys are not talking. Okay. And I feel strongly that this person is very secretive. They haven't told you the truth on several things. And we see that there with the Knight of Swords. Like, you're waiting to hear some truth from this person. Um, and they feel like that's the only way that they can really maneuver through this life. Is if they don't, like, divulge everything to people. Even the people that they feel like they love and trust. Um, they have these trust issues, I feel. Okay, maybe something that happened to them when they were younger, I'm not sure, but there's definitely something there um, where they feel the need to be like to hide things and be mysterious. So, let's see what the advice is for Gemini. What's the advice for Gemini? The Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like this is following your path. I definitely feel like this is following your path and I definitely feel like too that there is a Scorpio individual um, maybe Taurus as well that um, or you guys may have be on the Taurus Gemini cusp here but I, I think it's definitely for you to um, you know choose your steps wisely um, really kind of pay attention to what to, to the things that you feel like are important to really look at it and look at it again to make sure you know this is what's right for you okay but definitely follow your path follow your heart okay and I, I'm seeing there's someone here here that um, you guys are kind of being led to okay you're not moving very fast and I don't think you should I think you should definitely um, you know dissect this thing <laughs> if need be so you won't fall back into you know another pattern like this with this person okay could be this person that you guys are being diverted back to but I feel strong excuse me Scorpio energy here um, for you guys maybe cancer Taurus, Aquarius energy, Capricorn as well, okay, um, down here I see Leo, uh, Virgo, Libra, Pisces, okay, so let's see what the advice is for them, King of Swords, I feel like this is to open up, honestly, tell the truth, um, you know, confront your feelings, confront their feelings rather. Uh, use their intuition, follow their heart. Follow their heart because this high priestess is looking right at the star. Follow their heart, tell the truth, be open and honest. Um, you know, re reveal a little bit of themselves. Maybe not be so aloof, you know, not so stern. Try not to be so. I feel like this person puts on a on a hard exterior, but um, I, I feel they feel a lot, but they don't come across like that. They really don't. Okay. So let's see what the outcome is for you guys. What is the outcome for Gemini? Outcome for Gemini. What's the outcome for Gemini? The Wheel of Fortune. Mm. The Wheel is a turning change is coming okay and I feel like you guys are definitely on the right track for sure with the three of Pentacles the king of cups and the star um, I feel like you guys are definitely on your path and I feel like with this um, there may be a little backtracking for you guys because the Knight of Pentacles is facing you know towards the past so there may be um, you know, a Scorpio individual that is in your past that um, that you guys are bringing forward into your future. Okay, quite possibly here. Let's see what the outcome is for them. What is the outcome for them? What's the outcome for them? Hmm. Taking a leap of faith. Okay. Taking a leap of faith. Either this person, you know, this there's two scenarios for you guys, Gemini's, okay? From what I see here. 
either there is a Scorpio individual, somebody with that, you know, maybe some water in their chart that you guys are, are like bringing back around from your past, um, you know, taking this person into consideration or, you know, this person may possibly have, you know, Scorpio in their chart. I'm not sure. But I felt like you guys kind of bringing a relationship back around, you know, into the future. Like, you know, revisiting that. Um, but I feel this person will definitely take a leap of faith from what they are comfortable with. Out of what they are comfortable with here. Um, this is Aries energy. But they may also leave this behind. They may be foolish as well this car can be taken you know a couple of different ways because all the other energy is like I don't know but here we see they they are deciding something here wanting to make something right so this person may end up taking a leap of faith and coming towards you and saying hey you know what you know and take accountability for some things that they have done and um, you guys move forward Never know. Okay, energy is fluid. Time is fluid as well. 